So now we know what vertex form is, and you can see it right here, right? If I asked you uh, what is the vertex of this uh, quadratic equation, you would tell me that we're at, we get, the brackets are lying, so you get negative 3, so you go left 3, 1, 2, 3, and you would tell me that the 4 means go 4 up. That's what you're telling me, right? And then if I was just sketching, now remember sketching is a little bit different than graphing. Sketching is just a basic f basic idea here. You would say, well, you just uh, go, it's a, it's a positive, so it's going to go up like this, and it's going to look like that. And that would be just perfect, because that's a nice sketch, okay? The problem with this is that in this particular little lesson, um, yes, the vertex is exactly in that spot, so I'm going to get back there. One, two, three, four. There's our spot. Now, but how do we know this A part here? It's at, it's a one, right? It's invisible. Now, what you have to remember with basic parabolas, especially parabolas with just a one there, is all you have to do is start at the vertex and you go one over and then you square it to find out how high it goes, okay? So you go one over. We talked about this about two videos back, okay, in case you forgot. So let's go from the vertex. One over, what's one squared? That's right, it's one. So I think that would be right there. Actually, you know, I don't really like uh, this scale that we're drawing with right here, so I'm going to fix that. I'm going to push pause and fix it so it looks better. Okay, see how that looks way better? You can now see all the dots or all the all the grid lines in there. So once again, uh, we went left three, and we went up four, and there's our spot. And then uh, we went over one and up one for our parabola. Now, if you go over two, do you remember what you go up with a parabola, a basic parabola? Well, if you go over two, just square it. What's two times two? It's four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and remember, do the mirror image, do a mirror image from this line right here. This is our our x coordinate. Uh, this has a special name. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to talk about it. It's, I'll just say it, okay? It's called the axis of symmetry. It's just the line that's vertical going right up through here. Okay, so that's our mirror. So let's just say, okay, there's our mirror. We've got to do a mirror image. So you go up here and you go, instead of 1, 2 to the right, I'm going to go 1, 2 to the left. And here is our parabola, and it's actually graphed as it's supposed to be. Okay, that is how this graph is actually supposed to look in terms of how wide this graph is. You know how it's a one over here? Just to verify, if you want, what we can do is take this and see this little box here. I'm going to drag it over here, and it will graph this. And notice how it graphed. If I was to remove the the lines. Notice how it's exactly what we just graphed, except for it's, you know, perfect. But uh, we're not, not bad considering we're not a computer, right? Okay. Let's get rid of that. We like to, you're not going to have that option when you, when you work on a piece of paper today. So let's just keep doing piece of paper stuff here. All right. Let's clear this off. Let's change this graph. Let's say what happens if we put a 2 here. Okay. I'll just keep these the same because... I can change these up, but you already know how to do with the three, deal with the 3 and the 4. So let's just put a 2 in the front, and let's see if you can help me out with this. All right, so where's the vertex? That's the very first thing we got to do. Well, it's at negative 3 and 4. So negative 3, 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There it is. OK, now a normal parabola that has a 1 a regular parabola, parabola um, goes 1 over and 1 up, 2 over and 4 up. But because we have a 2 here, what we're going to do is double. We're going to times by 2 the amount that we're supposed to go up. So instead, over, instead of going 1 over and 1 up, go 1 over and 2 up. A fly just landed on my nose while I was talking in this gymnasium here. Anyway, so if you go 2 over, You'd, you'd normally square it, so 2 over, square it, you get 4, but then you double it. Because we have this 2 here, we double it, okay? 
it's being stretched by a factor of 2. It's being vertically stretched. So instead of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, just uh, double it. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here we go. And that's already enough work in order to, to graph this thing properly. Just do the mirror image. Here's our axis of symmetry, which is just a line going up and down here. It's our mirror. And then I'm going to put another dot there. I'm just using a mirror image. I'm going up here. I'm looking 1, 2 over. So I'm going to go 1, 2 over here. I'm going to connect. Connect this guy. OK. And it goes forever upwards like that. Let's just verify that I've done this right. Let's take this graph and drag it over here. Look at that. It's, it's definitely done right. See that? We totally did it right. So you know I'm not uh, leading you down the wrong path here. <laughs> I knew you were wondering, what is this guy talking about? Does he have a clue? But anyway, uh, do I need to get more complicated here? Yes, I do, unfortunately. What happens, what happens if instead of a 2 here, we get a 1 half here? 1 half. Oh, that doesn't look nice. Let's do a proper 1 half. I think I can do it. Yes, there we go. 1 over 2. What if we get 1 half in front and then x plus 3 squared plus 4? Here's how you would graph this. Okay, This is the last one we'll do before we, uh, before we finish this video. Okay, Well, once again, where's the vertex? Always start at the vertex. It's at negative 3 and 4. Surprise, surprise. Negative 3 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There's our vertex. Beautiful. Now, Normally, you go 1 over, and then you square it, and you go 1 up. But with this situation here, because we have a 1 half here, you're going to times 1 half times however much you're supposed to go up. You're going to take half of whatever you go up. So instead of 1 up, we're going to go half up, because 1 times a half is just a half. I'm trying to draw it there. And if we went 2 over, normally we'd go 2 over, square it, you'd go 4 up. 1, 2, 3, 4. But 4 times a half, or half of 4, is just 2. Okay. Notice this graph is wider. And already, for this course, that is good enough just to get a basic parabola going here. Okay. And let's do the other side too. 1 over and half up. And then we went 2 over. And instead of 4 up, we only went half of 4, which was 2. And then we uh, drew that in there. It looks something like that. Again, let's verify, because I like to prove whether or not I'm talking gibberish here. And there it is. See, my, my graph is not too shabby. I didn't keep drawing points, so it would have looked better the more points I would have drawn. If I would have put more points, I would have had more points along here. But I'm just stopping. I think for this course, I think I'd like to say that one, two, three, four, five points, so the vertex, and two points up this side, and then do the mirror image, that's enough for me to be happy to say, yeah, you know what this parabola looks like. Okay, so that is how you graph a parabola given the vertex form. And here is the vertex form. Okay, awesome.